Big smile. I've always said that I have some unfortunate angles. I have a Jewish nose. I mean, ooh, that's probably offensive to people, but I'm Jewish, so. Beautiful people do beautiful things. Beautiful people do beautiful things. Was there any time that you liked the way you looked? No, that would be a no. I was a rude, ugly, stupid, boring, spoiled child. And if you think I'm self-loathing now, you're lucky you didn't see the one-woman show I did when I was five. You want to do something to your face? Yeah. A lift. What made you decide to have yourself done over? Well, I got sick and tired of having the dog drag me out in the yard and bury me. <laughs> Even though I'm considering it, it's still very grisly to me. It is a sort of like philosophical dilemma to alter your appearance just because you can. There's actually one class of celebrities that will be very honest about cosmetic procedures they've undergone. You don't look exactly like the Joan Rivers I used to know. And that would be comedians. I take that is a compliment. Yeah, yeah. And I had uh, eyelids made, and then I had a facelift, then I had a breast reduction, but being Jewish, they grew back. I don't know how. <laughs> to me, it is just brainwashing, manipulation, and mutilation of women. I'm still gonna get it. My surgeon, he said, oh, now, Julie, wear the soul of discretion. I said, discretion? I'm tweeting it! <laughs> I want to be pulled, tucked, and lifted till I can Would you hire me now? Wait a minute, that's good. See, it does look good. This is the kind of change that we're talking about. Regardless of how you look, people are going to judge you, so you might as well like looking in the mirror. This is the happiest Christmas. I want to be cold, tucked and lifted till I can't move my face.